in this tutorial we will learn about length measurement units so suppose you have an object and you want to measure its length then you will be requiring uh, some unit in which you will be measuring it so we have the standard one called meter but uh, not every object is uh, as small or as big as uh, meter so we have other uh, larger and smaller units uh, namely kilo hecto deca then we have deci centi milli so while the longest or the most uh, the biggest so the largest unit among all of these is kilo then we have hecto then we have deca and then we have meter uh, and then we have deci then we have centi then milli so it is decreasing uh, from top to bottom so this is the largest then this is smaller then this is so smaller this is even smaller and this is the smallest so uh, when we are going from uh, bottom to top then each is multiple of uh, 10 so 10 millimeters equals to 1 centimeter 10 centimeters equal to 1 decimeter 10 decimeter equals to 1 meter then 10 meter equals to 1 uh, to 1 uh, decameter then 10 decameter equals to 1 hectometer and then 10 hectometer equals to 1 kilometer uh, we have two spellings of uh, meter first is uh, uh, m-e-t-e-r is uh, american spelling while we have m-e-t-r-e which is the international spelling uh, which will be uh, which is sort of standard throughout the world and it is used by International Bureau of Weights and Measures. So let's see it again. So we have 10 millimeter equals to 1 centimeter, then 10 centimeter equals to 1 decimeter, then 10 decimeter equals to 1 meter, then we have 10 meter equals to 1 decameter, then we have 10 decameter equals to 1 hectometer, and 10 hectometer equals to 1 kilometer. Also, we can uh, uh, we can uh, find a poem in this. So we have kilo hecto decameter deci centimillimeter. So this is how you can uh, remember it. You, you just have to say it again. Kilo hecto decameter deci centimillimeter. Kilo hecto decameter deci centimillimeter. So if you will repeat this, uh, uh, let's say ten times or fifteen times, then you will memorize this, and it will be uh, good for you for next fifty years or hundred years. So make it rhythmic so that uh, you can recall it whenever you want so kilo hecto decameter then deci centi millimeter um, so if you're talking about uh, uh, two jumps so let's say uh, one jump equals to 10 so if you're uh, jumping uh, two steps then it will be 100 so 100 millimeter equals to one decimeter and 100 decimeter equals to one decameter 100 centimeter equals to one meter 100 meter equals to 1 hectometer and if you are taking 3 steps then it will be uh, like 1000 meter equals to 1 meter and 1000 millimeter equals to 1 meter 1000 mi uh, meter equals to 1 kilometer so if you are taking 3 steps then it will be like this 1000 so 1 step, 2nd step and 3rd step so this is uh, 100, uh, 1000 meter equals to 1 kilometer so we have covered this that 100, uh, 10 hectometer equals to 1 kilometer. Then we have uh, another one which is 1 kilometer equals to 1000 meters. Then we have 1 meter equals to 100 centimeters. Then we have 1 centimeter equals to 10 millimeter. Then we have 1 meter equals to 1000 millimeter. So this is the most uh, commonly used relation. Uh, repeating it once again uh, 1 kilometer equals to 1000 meters. 1 meter equals to 100 centimeters, 1 centimeter equals to 10 millimeters, 1 meter is equal to 1000 millimeters. So when you are writing an exam and uh, you are stuck between uh, what is the correct spelling of uh, meter, you can use either of them, but uh, you can prefer uh, using METER, METRE, which is the standard um, spelling of meter and it is used by International Bureau of Weights and Measures. Thank you for watching this tutorial.